Dogs of War, Act uh, Act Eight, Chapter Six. Far from the events of the continent, Hamari and Gorfsag reach Null Island. Despite all concerns regarding the Nulls, Hamari is determined to seek them out. Though she evades the question as to why she trusts the race that is fascinated by human culture, and even used to serve the ancient human nation of Zionor, even though it was a slaves rather than out of free will. Mari believes that null knowledge about human culture and society can not only help them in their war against humans, but also establish a strong nation in Salria. However, as they approach Null Island, the Allied uh, forces notice, both old, uh, notice runes both old and new. How did he manage to get here faster than us? They must have known they would come here. After all, we had to use a river to get, at, get here, but they could freely travel, well, they could travel freely through human lands. Then I take it that no one's going to wonder whether or not the Nulls are out with humans from now on. It's about an encampment from here. We should go there. Do you smell that? Orcs! Greetings, Nulls. We are... Woof. Don't welcome pirates and poachers in our home. Get back on your ship and raid Solri instead. No time to deal with your more mongering kind. You misunderstand, Elder. We're not here to cause any harm. In fact, we're here to help you with the human problem you seem to have here, and to propose an alliance against them. Boss. The humans in your islands are fanatics and murderers. They burned down the orc islands. Since they're on your island now, expect them to do the same here. But why would they do such a thing? We haven't had any dealings with the humans since the old days. We left them alone. Woof. They invaded our home and captured our king. The reasons don't matter to me. They are the enemy now. The humans took your king. Yes, we did. But you're not worried, Dogman. He's imprisoned, but alive and in good health. Just like the harpy creatures you keep as pets. This must be their leader, then. I am Grand Paramancer, Paramancer Zelich, all servant of Duke Redfist, a man who's going to put an end to your race, orc. Snarl, what do you want, human? You invaded our homes and took our king from us. Do not expect any kindness. My dear elder, your king is the very reason I am here. Wonder if you would deal. Surrender the orcs and their allies to us and join our war against them. Then you shall have your king, your beasts, and your island back. You expect Nulls to ally with the men who attacked them and took their king? Pretty fool. Why would they trust you now? There are people you serve humans once, now. Also know that you still live fairly human, at least by your own standards. I offer you the chance to not be slaves of mankind, but its allies. The unique chance for your race. You can get your own legitimized kingdom, a true kingdom for your king to rule. Hmm... He offers you nothing but slavery. His men already murdered your people. We can offer you a real ones, unlike these murderers. All you need to do is be a good dog and fight these green-skinned murderers at her side. They want nothing from you other than your land and resources. Snarl, you have no sense of honor. First you invade our home, then you take our beast, then you imprison our king, and still you have the audacity to insult us. Cut his tongue out and shave his beard off. Woof. This human doesn't want us as allies. He wants us as pets. His magic killed my family. And he thinks I would side with him? Uh, cut them all down, I say. You made a terrible mistake coming here, Pyromancer. My people will drive you off our lands, and our king will have your head. I should have known. Once a beast, always a beast. Very well, if you don't ally with the orcs over us, we'll destroy your race as well. You have be no other choice. My offer still stands, Elder. Let us fight the invaders together. I have little choice but to accept your offer. As for alliance, however, that is a decision the king himself can make. I was free him, then we'll hear what he has to say. Trees on his back. Looked like mushrooms initially. Concerning after a cr crimson fen. Wild. So be it. What about those harpies you were mentioning earlier? Could we use them to defeat the humans? How? The humans captured him. If you free the harpies, will gladly hunt our enemies down. Our loyal companions. Not tolerate a human presence on our island. Yeah, 
The humans have constructed magic, uh, constructed enchanted gates, barring the way to a fortress. Shamans are powered by magical generators. The Keeper King captured it in there in a cage like an animal. Snarl. Excuse me. Oh, God. You have the word that your king shall be freed, Odor, no matter how many humans stand in our way. One, two, three. Jesus. Prove your honesty by aiding us against the humans, then we shall speak of trust. Speak your mind. <laughs> The harpy swarms are kind of how you beat this mission. You have to rush them. The gold mines go by killing enemy units or trading lumber at the uh, goblin shipyard. Ooh. Oh god, we got war zeppelins? Swear we didn't previously. This is a lot rougher than I remember. I got bat riders in the previous one. That's how I did it. I was able to snipe. I was able to snipe them. Here, if I have to play with the goddamn uh, war zeppelins. Okay, we're gonna play this differently. Before we use troll bat riders to fly around and snipe the um, cages. Once the harpy swarms get going, they're damn good. Once they get going, that's the issue. The place probably should probably be left for last. Um, the place is pretty damn well um, fortified. There's always the place they hit up first. Oh, I'm sorry, the cages over here were, were. That settlement should probably be left to last, just given how I have to go about this. Uh, do that. 
do this, how we'll turn on Frenzy. Turn on Frenzy. I wish that was just on inherently because there's no reason not to have it on. Young boy to cry. But yeah, uh, I always hit here first, but since. Um, and then I did snipe in the buildings here with the troll battle riders, but given that we don't have them on the Reliant on the um, <sighs> Destructors, which are going to take a bit. We have to lose enough troops to get them, and then we need to lose, then we need time to, for them to build, and it will be slow. Um, it's probably best for us to go around the other way and leave that other cage to last. Elven boots. Shieldy here, alright. Yeah. Hmm. Probably should have given that to someone else. of haste. Grab that. You take. You drop that and grab that. You made it, you made it very far off of it. But too late. Uh, but too far. Time to put you down. Pull back to base, fend off this attack, then continue. It's got a little muddled there. Hey, folks in the back. Hmm. Assassins. And them bolts. Before the nulls really don't stand much of a chance here, honestly. Oh, I walk in shadow. Just the nulls are typically a pretty flimsy unit. Doctor. I need a war. Once I get destructors, I can go around sniping the harpy cages. Because most of the defenders of the cages can't hit air. Most of the defenders of the cages can't hit air. Therefore, the harpies will gut them, and I don't need to actually fight them.
Make it fast. Hey guys. Folks over here. Attack. Ow. Defense 4. I'm attacking fast in that form is a beautiful, beautiful tank. We'll call in some uh, annoying units soon. I want these done before that happens. We're under attack. Over here. Do that instead. Imagine Blood Cry and Blood Lust. I can feel it. The damn wizard is summoning his fire servants to attack us. Brace yourselves. The um, Zeppelin is nearly done. I'll just wait on it. The War Zeppelins are actually viable units now, so we'll wait on it. I remember the old version. As far as I remember, it had to be in melee fucking range. It was it was disgusting. I wish Frenzy was auto-cast. The null unit is weaker for not being. One issue with this is that the Zeppelin is average speed. The trolls were faster moving. But the Zeppelin will kill the crates faster. I feel it. The damn wizard is something as far as to attack us. Brace yourselves. Paramancer is not going to stop summoning beasts as long as he's able to. Dealing with him should stop their attacks. The baddies right in the middle of that damn fortress. They're unleashing the harpies upon us. Hunters, strike the beasts down. Cursed beasts down. Put on four. Move there. Alright. Let's continue. Okay, they're intercepting an attack wave. I am quite grateful. Hit it. These power gener generators are actually of secondary priority uh, to the harpy crates. Ever beasts, but they'll not help you. We shall not fail the Duke. The orcs and their allies must die. I'm not sure if they'll free each other, honestly. Good one. 
I would like to think the Harpies will break the other crates, but they may just leave that up to us. Take it out. Take it out now and immediately retreat. We're under attack. Six of the twelve. Hmm. Heard some harpies dying. The enemies do not have any flyers, so can exploit the tree line as much as I can. I don't remember this bit of the forest. Oh, is it just a rando path that leads nowhere? I might remember that. I remember being paranoid of a secret and stuff. I remember that. They're getting money, so we're not. Queen. Only they hurt their own shit. Damn it. We're under attack. Yes, what? Huh? Thankfully, they're moving into the uh, settlement. Go back. There's one issue with these they're so expensive. back. They're annoying to replace if they end up getting themselves killed. I didn't want to have to um, send them to go for repair because I want to keep up the tempo. Oh yeah, these are flagged as red fisters, so they should engage them. Um, I want to keep up the tempo because if the harpies don't get reinforcements, they will just get killed. And then life will be harder on me. this. Yeah, see? Overwhelmed. It's fine. I'll unleash the rest of the harpies, then my forces will be able to clear up the uh, remnants.
them back. We're under attack. Our town is under attack. No. Breaking to see. We're under attack. Break it, come on. Then back. Memory serves, there's a few more cages throughout this camp. Do of the wars, F lines. Do not run, we are your friends. Something the most ridiculous as they can. guy out. <laughs> Zoe, she may want to work on your aim, dumbass. Bring their own. There's still one left. do a good job at whittling down the um fine I can burn you blasted orcs myself. I know not I I neither know nor care what made you hate orcs so much, mage. Assist. Wardens, bloodhounds. Runt.
chaos damage. Not even a purge. Adam Bloodlust will be insane. Give me cover. What is your will? Our town is under attack. We're under attack. What is your will? Just run. There it is. Okay, ye. Build another totem. Build more pig farms. Expensive, Jesus. Mm, probably only need one, but we'll go with more. down here I had difficulties the first time I did uh, I did this mission I had difficulties beating it but once I realized the thing with the harpies it made life a lot easier sadly I wasn't able to do it quite right this time missed a few cages you know weren't able to do it quickly enough if you do it quickly enough the um, harpies will overwhelm any ranged defenders and can then just kill as they please. Work complete. Work complete. We're under attack. Work complete. Work, Work complete. Work complete. Work complete. Make it fast. Work complete. Down this way. Going down here to see if there's anything of interest, and there is ruined brace. Care. Make it fast. Work complete. Work complete. 
Work complete. Work complete. Work complete. Work We're complete. under attack. Go back to Mari. Go to Mari. Master? We're under attack! Speak your mind. I think I uh, screwed up there. I gave them all that same attack order. Rather than just the fire. Just go back a few saves and do it right. I was thinking about that. Then I was like, yeah, we'll do it live. We'll, we'll, you know, do it live. We'll do it as it ended up being. But you know what? Why? Before it wasn't it with it with the trolls you could just make a swarm of them and uh Um You know, it didn't matter if they died, you could just have to swarm for bubbling around. Uh here you gotta be a lot more careful. down here. Break it. Can I be honest, best strategy? Get the base, you build another goblin wa uh, 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 laboratory. You then start calling your units so you can get both laboratories producing one Zeppelin. You then fly the Zeppelin around, the Zeppelins around separately. Makes micro harder, but you can just say, kill this and fly away, and then work on the other one and, you know. Actually, going to rush them over there for two reasons. One, to try and free some harpies. Two, we're under attack. 
uh, to try and wheedle out a few units without just killing them myself. I kind of hate doing that. I'm not making her target herself with it, I'm making her the center of it. Therefore, um, any enemies around her will um, get um, shadowed. Ships. Can't actually do anything. Never actually remember seeing their ships before. Is on fire. No, oh, but the air, the ground. They let themselves out. No, no, I got those uh, those out with this one just a moment ago. And we'll probably leave in pieces. What? One left? Where? I think the issue with the harpies is they aren't great at destroying the buildings, so they will eventually get overwhelmed by that. Ah, it was over here. Attack that. They aren't very good at destroying the buildings, so they will gradually be whittled down. But... They can't do work numbers if given the time. If given the time. What is your will? Beautiful.
Beautiful. That went pretty oh, smooth. We're under attack. Too wide an area with too fucked up terrain to really build a tower off. And then since more Harpy Swarms will be alive when they're finally done killing this building, these buildings, let's attack. They'll be able to help you more with the um, main building, which is, as you've seen, is disgusting to look at. More of them being alive makes it markedly more tasty. It's not over yet, barbarians. Coward. Yeah, see? Harpy swarms. I remember having such great difficulty with this mission, but it literally is just get free the harpies. That's all you gotta do. Free the harpies and do it quick. If you're freed and uh, close enough together, then pretty much the starting army will get you started on rolling over this space. You'll need reinforcements, but it's not like you have to purge it and build it up proper and like that. The Harpy Swarms will do a lot of heavy lifting. It's beautiful. Rune Bracers aren't bad, but it's just... Uh, it's, not, it's not exactly sexy. Cause of attack plus 12? Yes. Free. Finally free. Woof. I knew I could count on you, Tanzak. My king. It's good to see you in good health and out of that degrading cage. Without the help of the orcs, we would not have been able to free you. Uh, free you. Wait. Orcs. Here. I am Grand Gorhau, king of the Gnolls. What brings you to my island, Greenskin? It's honor to meet you, King Gorhau. I am Amari. My companion, Gorfzag, is helping your forces hunt down the remnants of Red, Red Fist as we speak. We are here to propose an alliance between our people against a common foe, the humans of Silria, as well as those that just threatened your island mere moments ago. We formed alliances with many other races such as Dark Trolls, Goblins, Centaurs, Bearmen, and more to fight against this common foe. In return for your aid, we promise you your own portion of lands in the mainland as well as support against any foe that threatens your lands. Hmm. An interesting proposition, Snarl. However, I see no reason to join such a conflict. Despite our differences with Silverians, we have no interest in conquering holdings on the mainland. 
Your support in my rescue will not be forgotten and will be rewarded accordingly, of course. But I'm not willing to drag my people into a war because of it, especially not side by side with a race with a reputation such as yours, Orc. Your prejudices are misplaced, King Gorao. Your island has never been raided by the orcs, and we've done all we c uh, and all we've done since we came here is help you and your people. Yet you judge us. I do not mean to insult you, Lady Marit Wolf. Over the orcs have a reputation of raiders and pillagers more than anything. You two must agree with that and see why I hesitate. Naturally. I assure you, however, that the orcs are changing. A new age is upon us. If you know anything about the orcs, and you know that the raiders and poachers you may have heard of never ally with other races, yet we, no, I, have united many races under one banner. She has. To what end? The Congress of Rhea. Yes. To create a place for all our races to live. My people have already accepted that they need to change, otherwise I wouldn't be standing here. The old orcs did not let their women fight in battle. There are more changes yet to come. I'm not sure I like the way this sounds, Lady Mari. It sounds ominous, almost. Snarl. This is new. All new. My apologies, Your Majesty. That's not how I wanted to put it, of course. I merely wished to explain that the orcs have once raided the coast of the kingdoms or a thing of the past. New order is taking their place. Still ominous. Hmm. I'm not forced to do anything, however, I urge you to consider this. Humans have attacked you without any provocation on your part and have weakened your realm. There are more humans who may take advantage of the, the situation. So, Reans want your island for themselves, that is no secret. They even tolerate the presence of pirates to harass you. We could help each other, King Gorao. You're not. Your renowned architects will be of great aid in building our realm, while your powerful armies will provide the discipline we are currently lacking. In exchange, you will gain more lands and loyal allies. Do they have either? Architects and discipline? Very well, Lady Mar, I'm willing to accept your proposal, under two conditions. First, no matter how the lands of Silver are split between different races, no island belongs to us. We have no outside forces settling on our homeland. Not just that, it will remain under our direct rule without anyone else claiming it as their own. I want you to guarantee that to me. In my word on that, King Gorhau, we'll not take your lands for our own. I'm first to make sure that my father, who is the actual leader of Invasion Force, will also respect that. Woof. Good. What is your second condition, Your Majesty? The leader of the humans who attacked my land is in Salria. Or the humans talking about it. He must be punished for his deeds. He must either pay with his life or being put by put into prison. Hmm. But of course, King Gorhau. Amari, we have a problem. What is it? Pirates. They must have arrived or were busy fighting the humans. We were completely surrounded. I remember doing this mission, um, the upcoming mission here with the pirates. It was rough. It was a rough mission, but it was rough because there was something weird going on at the same time IRL. The room I'm in right now, I had a, a fr got a friend to help me clear it out. Having OCD is a terrible thing. I'm, it's not the obsessive tidiness, but it's fear of dirt and germs. It Just cleaning up this room... Um, Ended up overwhelming. So he had various cleaning supplies here, and I'd forgotten to put them away and, you know, put them elsewhere. One of the bottles popped a leak, and I didn't know for a span of two weeks. I could smell something foul in the room, and I had no idea what. I started thinking it was leaking in from the attic. The neighbors had been doing a ton of cleaning and whatnot. I thought maybe it was something from their place, because the our attics are connected. And there is basically it somehow getting into my room. There is actually a bit of a there's various pipes coming down from the attic into my room. There could be a gap. There's a few gaps by them, and I was thinking it was coming in that way. Um, but no, it was actually because it was smelt all around my room. You smell anywhere, and it smells like the source. So uh, for two weeks or a week, 
I was constantly like I was in my I'm in my room most of the time, constantly breathing in, ran a bleach fumes, and I was still trying to record. So yeah, if you, you know, my playstyle did go off a bit. Um, I know in War Tales I stopped caring when the animals died for a bit. Then I went back to save scumming like a bastard. I don't know which episodes those were, but he, I know with Warcraft Three here. It was this uh, this mission and the next one, I was incapacitated by the bleach. I was also affected by it during my uh, some of my Monster Hunter Rise videos, which, as of time of this being recorded, have not come out yet. And probably by the time this releases too, I've fallen behind on the editing of it. But Monster Hunter Rise, I think, is coming out in late February and March. So, yeah, and then this episode is a bit into it, so, well, and the affected episodes are a bit into it, so, this will probably come out first. But yeah, eventually I figured it out, uh, I noticed the bottle, I'd completely forgotten it existed, and I was just like, okay, this is going, and I just dragged the whole cabinet into a different room, because it was on the cabinet, it was on that, I was just like, get the fuck out. Because I was done of feeling like, woo. So. Like, every t I'll clean for a bit. Like, I'll be like, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. And I'll get I'll, uh, get rid of a few things. And it'll go away. I was like, yes, I got it. Then it'll come back. <laughs> like, I would scour the room, finding a a anything I could that could be something. I'll clean it, and it'll be gone. And I'll... It, so would this, the, the stench. I would feel fine for a while, and... Then it would come back. I just I've been editing War Tales footage, and I was noticing oh there's a terrible smell here. Yeah, it was the bleach, as far as I don't know, unless there was something else that I'm forgetting. It was the bleach. Fun times. Uh, anecdotes aside, let us continue. No, oh, yeah, it's only 20 minutes, yes. 